Well, we want to touch on just um, as we come to the close of week six on the whole concept of redemption and the way um, God um, sacrificially gives his son, the Lord Jesus, on our behalf. Um, we can see threads of redemption in the Old Testament where there is a sacrifice to be paid. Uh, we, we go to the early chapters of Genesis where God uses the skin of an animal to dress Adam and Eve. And then in Genesis 4, uh, Cain and Abel um, bring their first fruit offerings um, to God as a way of worship. And um, ultimately, we, we see that Abel's offering is accepted by God. There is different interpretation as if the both offerings were accepted or was Abel's uh, sacrifice of, of an animal the required requirement of the Lord. You can do some further commentary search on, on that. But as you move forward through Genesis, um, you know, Noah offers up a sacrifice. Um, Abraham himself um, is tested by God to offer up his only son as a test of faith. And yet God then provides uh, the ram caught in the thicket. And really, uh, it is the Lord Jesus that gives us um, a, an interpretation into that account of Genesis 22 that in, in John 8, um, Jesus says, Abraham saw my day and was exceedingly glad. So what did Abraham see through the, the ram that was caught and ultimately offered up as a sacrifice uh, to God uh, for sin? And then as you look at the whole context of the Old Testament as the scapegoat and the, the ram being or the lamb being offered up as a sacrifice for sin, the high priest offering that on behalf uh, of himself and the nation to um, ask God for forgiveness of sin, and that would be done as required by the ceremonial laws. And then we bridge now to the New Testament, and we see ultimately in the New Testament, especially in the epistles, as Paul is encouraging us to offer our bodies as a living and holy sacrifice in, in Romans uh, 12. We're to, we're to give our lives. And Jesus call to give up our lives for the sake of the gospel is that um, call for undeniable uh, discipleship, that we're to carry our cross and offer ourselves up on behalf of the gospel um, call on our life. And so there are different ways that, um, that people do um, offer themselves up um, for sacrifice. Some do it through martyrdom. Some do it through, um, you know, sacrificing their life for um, pro proclaiming the gospel to the ends of the earth. And we have history and missionaries of old that have done that. And others do um, self-sacrifice through giving, um, helping our neighbors uh, in our community, giving um, our possessions away, um, these self-sacrificing ways that God encourages us through his word uh, to do, but ultimate sacrifice, all, uh, ultimate model is is Christ. Philippians two, he he surrendered all that he had, um, and giving himself up as a willing sacrifice for our behalf is what Christ calls us to do. And um, my encouragement for you is that we would seek ways uh, to offer ourselves up as a living and holy sacrifice unto God.